Hi guys, Ronnie here out in the shop. Hey, if you've just started using pocket hole joiner or you're thinking about doing it, I've got five tips that will save you some time and frustration, things I wish I had known when I started out, and I wanna share them with you right now. So here's tip number one. All right, so mount your jig on a piece of three quarter inch plywood. This happens to be about 16 by 12. There are four screw holes in the jig itself. I use inch and a half screws to mount it on. That makes it nice and easy to clamp to your workbench and gives you a very stable surface to work with. Next tip is to get you a couple pieces of two by four, some scrap strips of wood. These happen to be seven thirty seconds of an inch. Glue the strips onto the two by four. Then you can use it on either side of your jig to help support the piece that you're drilling. And that will give you nice contact points on all parts of the wood. And there will be no tilting of the wood when you're drilling. Just keeps it nice and stable. Next tip is to either put a dowel in your screw hole or maybe a piece of painter's tape, something to remind you to check the settings before you actually start to drill on a piece of wood. Make sure all your settings are correct. Otherwise, if you don't do that, this could happen to you. You go to drill, it's wrong setting, and it blows out the end. You won't have a secure fitting. And as you can see here, if you don't have it set right, you can drill into the jig itself, which I've done many times. Next tip, get you a couple of drill bits. Set the collars at the depths you normally use. I use three quarters of an inch, an inch and a half. Check your depth. That's too long right there. It's past the three quarters. And that's what you want, right? I set it right before three quarters. The tip doesn't count as far as the measurements go. Next tip. Start the drill before you actually hit the piece of wood. See if you jam down and hit the piece of wood and start drilling, you'll wind up breaking off the tip right here. I've done that a couple times. Not good. Next tip. After several uses, you'll notice that uh, the clamp starts to bind up, won't get smooth. So that happens. Just get you some three in one oil and uh, hit all points that are moving on the jig and then you'll notice instantly a nice smooth back and forth motion and the final tip get you an extra drill bit keep it on hand because like i said you never know when the tip's going to break it'd be nice to have all right those are my tips for pocket holes hey don't you leave without subscribing hitting a like i'll catch you on the next video